guys, it's Nina from VR Focus. I'm joined by... Tim at Thrustmaster. So tell me a little bit about what you're showcasing here at E3. Here at E3, especially on the flight side, we're going hard this year in new products on flight. So we've got three new products that we're really showcasing. A brand new set of rudders that are based on a pendular system, a set of headsets, a uh, gaming headset which is uh, licensed by the US Air Force and designed to look like an actual pilot's headset and of course uh, the new uh, add-on stick, add-on flight stick which is based on an F-18 Hornet which is an add-on compatible to our existing HOTUS Warthog system. So that's what we're showing as far as new products go. Of course the way we're doing it is very VR heavy. We're showing, D, uh, showing the F-18 Hornet stick which is usable in DCS, Digital Combat Sim Simulator, and we're letting people play it on the actual VR headset. So if someone was at home and they wanted to try it out, what is the setup, what do they need for this to be playable? The, the stick itself is coming out a little bit later this year, a little bit later in 2018, so they need to have the existing HOTUS system, and of course then they need to buy the, the stick itself. Uh, because the, the way that we've built our sticks on an ecosystem, or they're now expanding the ecosystem, so that you can try to match the stick to the actual plane that you're playing in the game, which is what we're showing here. The F-18 in the game, in DCS, is playable on an F-18 stick itself. Right, so there's different sticks for different vehicles. Different sticks for different planes, yeah. Just like we do on the racing side, where you have different wheels for different vehicles, we're now expanding our flight side to be able to give people different, uh, different uh, sticks which match with the planes that are in the game. So and eventually we'll be able to do the same thing with throttle, Models, same thing with rudders and any other accessories that work with uh, the flight uh, flight games. So for how many planes are you looking at and how many different sticks? Right now we technically have three different sticks with three different plane uh, compatibilities. We have the Cougar, we have the Warthog, and now we have the Hornet. Okay, and for, uh, for the throttle you have different types of... For the throttle right now we're really focusing on the Warthog throttle, uh, but, the, but of course the Warthog throttle works on all the different, uh, all the different uh, planes, it works in all the different games, but for full immersion it's best to play the Warthog throttle, Warthog stick in a Warthog which is in game. <laughs> That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, what about the prices? Do they retail at the same price or they vary and differ? Well, that's another actually the reason why we're adding the, or why we're working on an add-on stick basis. So the entire HOTUS system, the existing HOTUS Warthog system is almost, it's between $400 to $500, depending on where you get it. Uh, but the add-on sticks lets people who already own the HOTUS system just get an add-on stick. It'll be less than $200. We haven't announced the official price yet of the add-on sticks, but it lets them sort of mix and match the pieces without breaking the bank. I mean, this is a very expensive endeavor. It altogether. is, yeah. We're really targeting those guys, that, that top niche of pilots. All the replica type products that we're making are targeting those elite pilots who want to come as close as possible to replicating an actual cockpit in their basement or in their bedroom or in their living room. And uh, that's why these, these price points are high, is because there are officially licensed products, exact replicas of what you'll see in a real plane. So are you finding that the people who are purchasing your products, are they gamers or are they pilots? They're, they're simmers. So we have a much older, much more mature uh, audience and, and target market than most gaming companies, of course. We're targeting a, a large portion of these guys are actual pilots. Of course, we have aspirational pilots in there, retired pilots. Um, so, th so they know their stuff. These are simmers who sometimes will do an actual real-time flight from, from one city to another. It's a four-hour, six-hour game sessions of actual civilian flight. And of course, the, uh, the, the combat stuff as well. They really want to immerse themselves into the game, which is why we try to give them as authentic an experience as possible with our hardware and why uh, VR really takes it to the next level. So you mentioned virtual reality. Right there, there was an Oculus Rift. Is yeah. this also compatible with other VR headsets? Absolutely, yeah. Everything we make, uh, VR headsets are compatible with either the system or the game uh, that we're talking about. And all of, this, all of the games that our hardware is compatible with are compatible with VR headsets as well, of course, platform dependent. What's the feedback that you're getting so far? Is there more demand for a particular type of product for virtual reality? Um, not specifically. I mean, I think the fact that our products, our hardware, are so authentic to what you're experiencing in the game, VR just takes that to the next level. It really kicks it up a notch. Obviously, being able to look all around a car, look down at the wheel in the game, or look down at the flight stick in the cockpit, and be able to see the exact stick that you're holding in your hands 
is, is such a wild experience. Fantastic. Is there a website that we can go to to find out more? For sure, yeah. Thrustmaster.com has all of our core lineup on it, of course. Our social media platforms, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, will show a lot of this new stuff that we're showing off at E3, and eventually it'll be out there. Uh, all of the stuff that we're showing here is going to be available in 2018. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Sure. Have a Head good show. Head over to VRFocus.com if you want to find out more about virtual reality, and I will see you there. Thank you. Bye.